What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the U8 Live Break Room Break Schedule for 5-22-2020. May 22nd, got a brand new box coming your way, guys. A brand new Hall of Fame series, which consists of everybody that is in either the Pro Football Hall of Fame or the College Football Hall of Fame, so pretty excited about that. To, uh, to get underway for tonight, we got 15 of those here to my left. Finishing off this Gold Rush Mini Helmet Series and the Ultimate Loot Crate Box. It's pretty excited to get into the breaks for tonight, guys. We appreciate you jumping in, pre-filling a couple minis. These are the last six of the Gold Rush Minis and the Ultimate Loot Crates. Finishing those up tonight. Jacob Maddox, what's up, my man? Uh, first thing we're going to do, guys, is get into the dice roller for the night. All the box numbers for the three series are listed on the bottom of the screen. Dice roller for the night. Going to be a six or higher. That's going to be a seven. That'll do it. That is going to do it. Today's dice roll will be at number seven. Happy Friday to everybody. Hope you guys have a nice Friday. Nice weather where I'm at. That's always a good thing. Uh, in May, in Chicago, it rains a ton. But we actually got blessed with a pretty decent night. The first break of the night is going to be the mini helmet box. It's going to be a two-box break. All the mini helmet breaks are two-box breaks. We've got three listed, three closed. That's the last six minis for the night. Steven C. with the first three spots. Vincent Y., Timothy L., Adam M., and Matt Y. on the bottom. If somebody in here would like to give me two box numbers, we could start the break. Timmy Leonard calling out 15 and 50. Timmy Leonard, thank you for calling out the box numbers. We appreciate you. Last night was pretty cool, guys. I don't know if you would seen it last night, but the breaks um, were, were pretty special. We had, uh, we had Mr. Dan Hampton in the studio yesterday opening a couple boxes for us, which was... One of the bigger moments for the UA Live break room. I think it was really, really special. Very cool. Uh, Donnie got a question online. It says the new helmet series. The new series in helmets. But the disclaimer, it says for jerseys. Uh, I think that was fixed actually before we went live today. I fixed that. Uh, hey, Rock Dog Rookie. What's up? What's up, Ray Rocky? All right. Let's go ahead and uh, do 15 and 50. 15 and 50. First Gold Rush mini helmet break. 15 and 50. All right, there we go. Two boxes. Two boxes. Austin, what's up, man? Austin says, let's get this bread. This, this bread is what Austin is chasing. Let me make sure my uh, boxes remaining are taken care of. No 15 and no Still reads a jer jersey in the bullet. Ah. Well, those are the Hall of Fame boxes are right here. These are full size helmets. Uh, the listing may be, um, I guess, uh, a little bit of a typo in the listing, but we'll have that fixed. We'll have that fixed. Looks like the Hall of Fame box reads jersey, but that is actually a full size helmet. So, first break of the night is going to be the minis. We got boxes 15, we got box 50. Will Dolly got his. Sean Alexander today, thing is flawless. Love to hear that. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, the Hall of Fame series is a mixture of authentics and reps. Authentics and reps. Here's our first mini. Here's our first hit of the night. First hit of the night is going to be a Denver Bronco mini. Denver Bronco Mini, who we've seen a little bit of, but he's a nice little option, a good young player for the Broncos. Secondary player, Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons. Timmy Leonard, thank you, man. You're always looking out for us on the listings. I like that. That's nice of you. Adam M. Adam M in the AFC West, and this is break number one. Justin Simmons. I think he's a second year guy. No, he's a defensive player. I think he's a corner. But a young gun for the Broncos nonetheless. A very young, talented team. I ran into rave about the Broncos quite a bit on, on the show. So. And the next hit, box number 50. Box number 50. Yeah, post office is slow, man. They're just. Uh, swamp of stuff. JSA COA. I think they're just swamped. Mm. 
Another kid I rant and rave about quite a bit. We got ourselves a little bit of a double winner. Two mini helmets coming out of the boxes for the AFC West. Two Denver Broncos. And this time you got yourself a limited edition. Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton limited edition wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. Guy poised to have a breakout season. Adam M going two for two in the first break of the night. Nice mate. Very nice mini, Mr. Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton. What's up, Michael? Here to get my six. Awesome, my man. Cortland Sutton on the mini. Henry, what's up? What's up? What's up, Henry? Adam, nice job. Two wins in the first two boxes. There we go. We got loot crate number one. Loot crate number one. We got Gordon S. down to Will D. Yeah, Tim Leonard said, Pace, still picking winners for others. Tim, you are the best at that. Picking the boxes. Guys should honestly put your Venmo in the chat because guys should throw your tips. John down to Travis for this one. Or I should say Travis down to John. There's our randomizer. Awesome calling out mini boxes for break number three. Austin, I will forget that. Uh, Gordon S calling out box number 14. Manny came in, looks ridiculous. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Peyton, referring to Peyton Manning. Danny Marillo still chasing that DK Metcalf. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Ultimate loot crate. Three items coming out of the boxes. You've got a mini. You've got a jersey. And you've got a football. <laughs> His Venmo. <laughs> Timmy Leonard, love that. Love that hustle. All right, guys, here's our first. Football going to be a Washington Husky football for a quarterback that spent a majority of his career with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I like the college white panels. These look good. Huskies almost fumbled it. Washington, Mr. Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel. Let me lay that up, display that nicely. Mark Brunel, nice hit. There's a Schwartz COA. For a division we don't see a ton of, that's the AFC South. For Gordon S. Gordon S in the AFC South. Gordon S with the football. Gordon picked the box number. Nice hit, Gordon. Mark Brunel. Now we got our mini helmet. Our mini helmet. Let's see if we can pull a headliner for the minis. Big old bag. Okay, here we go. And now we got an Oakland Raider. Oakland Raider mini gonna be Mr. Jim Otto. Jim Otto. Yesterday we had Jim Plunkett. Now we have Jim Otto. That's a nice hit. Hall of Fame inscription. You got the double O inscription as well. Jim Otto. Goes to the AFC West for John F. John F. You got your Beckett COA in here. John, taking home Jim. Now the jersey. Now we got our jersey. All right. Now the jersey. Oh, we got ourselves a headliner hit in the jerseys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a big time pull right there. Look at this jersey. It's something I don't think I've ever seen before. 
we got ourselves a black, looks like a black custom New Orleans Saints jersey for the running back, Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara, New Orleans Saints AK-41 on a nasty little Saints custom jersey. That is a very sweet hit. That is awesome. Haven't seen that jersey before, but I do like that a lot. Something different. And on a big headliner name, too, Alvin Kamara going to Matt Y. Matt Y with the NFC South. Matt Y with the NFC South. Going to win the jersey. That's really cool. That's a really cool jersey. That's really cool. Good auto as well on the bottom of that four. Looks really good. Looks really good. Matt, if you're a Saints fan, that might be one for the frame. We don't see that jersey a ton. I'm trying to get a, a wolf gray jersey. One of those Nike wolf grays. Those are sick. This is cool, though. Matt, nice hit, man. Congrats. Says that's a beauty. That is. I agree with that statement for sure. Right there. Nicely. Here we go. There we go. There's loot crate number one. Henry Bowman says, my good luck charm, the girlfriend isn't watching. All right, let's go ahead and load up. Hall of Fame box number one. Hall of Fame box, guaranteed Hall of Famer coming out of these boxes. Matt Y down to Corey M. Seven times on the dice roll, somebody wants to give me a box number. Hall of Famers only. College Hall of Fame, Pro Football Hall of Fame. Special helmets and authentics in the series, which is awesome. That I do like. Timmy Leonard. Timmy Leonard giving me box number 13. Box number 13. All righty, there we go. Uh, Henry, I, I think so, yes. I think we pulled that Gronk last night. And it was pretty sweet, too. Box number 13. Ooh. Let's see what we got. Hall of Famers only. Best of luck, everybody. Here we go. It's kind of a cool series. I do like that idea. Somebody that's done enough in their career to be elected into the Professional Football Hall of Fame. Not an easy task, I don't think. There's a lot of people in the Hall of Fame, but every name is very recognizable that goes into the Hall of Fame. And if you have a Hall of Fame item, you definitely have a new, nice addition to the collection. You could say that guy's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So, first hit is a very good one. Not much explanation needed uh, with this guy. Running back, one of the best in franchise history. Going to the NFC East. For the Dallas Cowboys, we got ourselves a Tony Dorsett Riddell Pro Line. Tony Dorsett on the Pro Line Hall of Fame, class of '94. We're gonna see a lot of the Hall of Fame inscriptions on this series as well, which makes it that much more awesome. Johnny P in the NFC East is gonna win the first Hall of Fame box. Johnny P, there you go, Johnny. Johnny P, good hit. Really nice. IP, that's nasty, man. <laughs> Jimmy Leonard says, man, I'm on fire picking these winners. That's a headliner, I believe. That's a headliner. Tony Dorsett could be a headliner in any series, especially on a pro line. In a series with a couple reps mixed in there. I think we do have some specialty helmets, but a series that's predominantly reps, you're going to have a Tony Dorsett pro line as a headliner for sure. Johnny P, nice hit, man. Tony Dorsett set on the Riddell Pro line. Uh, pulled it. Yeah, 
the last night. That Gronker. That Gronk. All right, we got a couple of the Hall of Fame boxes full. Let's go do mini number two. Let's do this mini number two. Graham M. Down to Verlin. Two boxes for break number two. And then break number three will have the last two boxes. Timmy Leonard, doing me the solid as always. Calling out two boxes nice and early. Tim, I do appreciate that, man. Thank you. Seven times on the dice roll. 5, 22, 20, 20. We got boxes number 2 and 16. 2 and 16. Two and sixteen. Alrighty, guys, best of luck. Here we go. Box number two. Everybody's got your divisions. We're ready to rock and roll. Ooh, nice. Here's a new name. Here's a guy you don't see very often. Pretty electric player. I think he does. I think he was predominantly very good in the putt return uh, aspect of this game for this team. If it's on this team, kind of like a. Streaky, very fast. I think it's very fast guy. Yes, got ourselves a West Virginia. Take me home, West Virginia, and a wide receiver that played for these. I know he played for the Rams. That's Mr. Tavon Austin. Really cool, actually. I haven't seen Tavon Austin before. Tavon Austin on the West Virginia mini. Let me get a peek at his. Let me get a peek at his longest tenure. Timmy Leonard says, congrats to the winner. Let me get a peek at that. He played for the Rams, I know. Tavon Austin, that's pretty cool. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, yeah, he has a really cool... Uh, right, he was He's a free agent right now. He's actually not with the team currently. He was drafted in 2013. He was picked number eight. Drafted eighth overall. Uh, this is going to be yep, a Rams hit for sure. Going to be a Rams hit for sure. He actually uh, he did play for the Cowboys. And he was cut last year. So he got St. Louis when they were the St. Louis Rams. And then you got the LA Rams in 16 and 17. This goes to the NFC West. For guessing. For Mr. Timmy Leonard. Mr. Timothy Leonard calling out the box numbers. And for once it paid off for my man Tim Leonard. Tavon Austin, it's pretty cool. I like the West Virginia minis. We've seen like Will Greer, which is cool. Uh, Kevin White, another guy who was a pretty good wide receiver with the Rams, was absolutely horrible for the Bears. Kevin White, Timmy Leonard, NFC West for the Rams. He does have a really good college. Like another guy uh, from Oregon that had a really good mixtape was uh, oh, what is his name? He had like a crazy good college mixtape. It's bothering me. Darius. I don't know. Uh, this is bothering me. There you go. No Creek Sports. I have to look this one up. I want to make sure that's right. correct in saying this, but a very recognizable football name with this guy. Very recognizable name. Uh, his last name, for sure. We got ourselves a Seattle Seahawk. Seattle Seahawk mini. And this guy goes by the name of Jermaine Curse. Jermaine Curse. Seattle Seahawks with that lime green. Ink on that thing. Jermaine Curse. Let's see if he's related to Javon. I want to say yes, but I don't like to be incorrect, as I am very often. Um, Doesn't say anything about Javon Curse. Uh, 
I don't know if he's related to it. Here for the Seahawks to remain cursed, double division. Going back to the NFC West for Timmy Leonard, taking home two. A cool hit. Very cool hit. Tremaine Curse. Looks like they're not related, but I thought with that last name and the football background that Javon Curse had, I figured they could be related. NFC East, Timmy Leonard again. NFC West, sorry. NFC West for Timothy Leonard. Nice job, man. One, two. Called out two boxes that time. And snagged two. Minis are sold out, Henry. We got our loot crates uh, up right now. Let's do loot crate number two. Loot crate number two. We got Graham down to Monty. What's up, Jason? Jason Calhoun in the building. Loot crates. 1, 10, 16, 18. Here we go. We got Graham, Ricardo, Travis, Adam, Matthew, Jonathan. Okay, there we go. We got Hall for three. Hall for three, calling out box number 10. Hall for three. Uh, what's the name on the account? I thought I saw that. Uh, I thought I saw that um, Twitch handle before, but I don't want to call you the wrong name. That's embarrassing. Justin, there we go. Justin, Justin. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for calling out the box number. Ultimate Loot Crate box. No, that was a, uh, it was just a Eagle Speed. It was just an Eagle Speed mini, Tim. Oh. Verlo, what's up, my man? No more minis. Minis are sold out. We got three mini breaks, six mini on the boxes, so we are all sold out, my man. Verlin, that's one of the only times I've ever seen you comment on the stream. You just kind of win in silence and move on. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice little football break right here. Got with a great autograph. Looking at that one, that is Mike All Stopped. Mike All Stopped. Very nice mini right there. Going to be the NFC South. For Justin H. Justin calling out the box number early. Knocking down the Mike All Stop. Brown panel ball, Schwartz Sports. COA, Justin. Nice hit, man. Football for Justin. Very well done. Schwartz, COA. Alrighty. Next is going to be the mini helmet. Don't lose that. COA. And now the mini. Mini home break time. Remember to keep the same division for all three items. Second hit's going to be a New York Giants mini. New York Giants mini throwback quarterback. Love seeing this guy. He's pretty cool. Do like seeing this guy. It's kind of a New York Giants great. YA tittle. YA tittle. One of the more memorable quarterbacks for the New York Giants. I didn't tell. NFC East hit. For Travis G. Travis G with the YA tittle. Mike all stop. 
Yeah, man. Alrighty. Alrighty, here's our last item. And it is going to be the jersey. And we got ourselves an Indianapolis Colts middle linebacker on the white jersey this time with the blue numbers looking good. And that is going to be the Maniac. Goes by that nickname. 2018 Defensive Rookie of the Year, Mr. Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard. Nice hit. Sign right there on the five in the silver. You got your JSA COA. Darius Leonard going to the AFC South for Ricardo G. Ricardo, that's a nice hit, man. Darius Leonard. Great, great player for the Colts. A lot of Colts fans love him. I would say 99% of Colts fans love him. I don't know anybody that uh, has said anything bad about him. Ricardo G on the jersey. Darius Leonard. Yeah, he's great. He'll be really good next year, too. Corey, what are the, uh, in terms of, like, percentage, would you say 100% of Colts fans love Darius Leonard? There's a lot of players that you could argue are loved by a fan base. For Darius Leonard, the backlash, I mean, is very, very little with him, I would say. He's very loved, very respected in Colts, Colts Nation, they call it. Darius Leonard is awesome. He's an awesome guy. Awesome player on the field. Kind of shows a lot of heart. But I would say, if not all Colts fans, then you've got 99.9% .9 of Colts fans love Darius Leonard. Absolutely. Him and, yep, there we go. Him and Big Q. Two of the, probably the most, probably kind of like the face of the franchise players for the Colts. Big Q and Darius Leonard. It's kind of rare to see a, an offensive lineman kind of take over that face of the franchise role, but he does it really well, doesn't he? Him and Big Q. It's Quinton Nelson. There we go. Who else do the Colts have to cheer for? <laughs> Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers, I would say. All right, let's run Hall of Fame box number two. Ryan, I know, man. It's kind of like a lame stream without, without any Hall of Fame Bears players on here. Kind of disappointing, huh? Yeah, Paul, Don, and Matthew. Ryan, do you see he signed my little table right here? My favorite signature in the world. He also has an amazing, like, physical signature. He really takes his time when he writes it. He writes Hall of Fame on almost everything, which gives him additional value immediately, which is really cool. Hall of Fame break number two. Yeah, he's a Titans fan. Yeah. So no number 10 for the loot crates. 1, 16, and 18 left on the loot crates. Uh, Brett got to watch the stream a little bit. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool for Brett. All right, let's, let's get this Hall of Fame number two box. Got one through 15 without number 13. I gotta get back to Brett to message me about the Hampton stuff. It was kind of impromptu though, Ryan. I didn't know it was gonna happen until like an, an hour before the stream. Someone's like, you may be coming, dude. And I was like, dang, seriously, I'm gonna freeze up. Thought it went really well. It's pretty cool. We need a box number. Nicholas A, Matthew H, Paul Z, Tammy F, 
Kyle M, Sean R, Corey M. Corey never picks box numbers. Corey. And we got Matthew H. Matthew H. Hall of Famers only. Hall of Famers only. Kyle M, box 12. Thank you, Kyle. Box number 12, sealed on the top, sealed on the bottom. Hall of Famer coming at you. Here we go. Let's see who it is. Nice. JSA COA. Nice one. Definitely a Hall of Famer. And we got ourselves. Got with a fantastic autograph. Check that out right there, Mr. Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson, Hall of Famer. Class of 2009. A lot of ink across the top of that helmet. Good-looking Steelers. Riddell replica this time. Rod Woodson. Good-looking. Full-size right there. AFC North for Tammy F. Tammy. Nice hit. Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson. Good-looking helmet. Great auto. That was box number two. One thing you're going to find in the uh, Hall of Fame series is um, a lot of Hall of Famers really take their time with autographs and inscriptions because a lot of them are retired. They don't do a ton with their time. I mean, I don't know what they do, but I don't know what they do with their time. But autograph signings, I'm assuming they try to take, make the most of it, meet some fans, some people that uh, used to cheer for them when they used to play. You'll see a lot of great autographs in this series. That's what you really kind of strive and, and you look for here. Um, but that is something I like to look for when you see Hall of, Hall of Fame autographs like that one right there. Rob Woodson is a great. So Rob Woodson has a great autograph. Preach. Okay. And we got Hall of Fame number four posted. We're running mini number three. Mini number three, Adam M down to Austin R. Austin called out box numbers uh, just under an hour ago, so I've got no idea what he said. I could scroll up and look, but we only got two boxes left, Austin. So if yours made it to the final countdown here, you're in luck. But uh, I can't, can't promise you that the ones you pick for future breaks stick around as the guys in the breaks obviously have the right of way to pick whatever boxes they desire. We got mini helmet break number three. And guess what? We only got two boxes left. 17 and 19 for the gold rush. Mini breaks. That was the series name. Still looking for a couple headliners out here. Seen some good ones. Saw that Cortland Sutton earlier. That was a nice one. That was a nice one. Box number 17. Recognize this last name, that's for sure. Guys will definitely recognize this last name. And here we go. Oh, a little Blaze Mini. Did not expect that at all. That is beautiful. Did not expect a Blaze Mini coming out of there. And that's going to be Mr. Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson on the Cowboys. Blaze Mini, good auto too. Really clean looking mini. That is nice. Who's got the NFC East? Adam M. Adam M. Break number three. Adam, nice hit. Very, very nice hit. Ooh, that's special. Darren Woods. Darren Woods. Michael, did we... Michael, shoot me your order number. I'll look into that for you, my man. We can get you a, a refund on that if we missed you. But 
that's the list that I was presented with. GSA C08. Main number three. Another Hall of Famer. Another Hall of Famer. This is the first time we're not going back to back divisional hits. First one went to Adam. And our second hit will be heading out to the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears, Hall of Fame, linebacker, class of 2000 and, uh, 1998, I believe. Yeah, that's right. 1998, Mr. Mike Singletary. Mr. Mike Singletary. That's going to Catherine. Catherine W. Couple ladies. We got Tammy and Catherine taking wins tonight. Catherine and Adam. Ladies, don't be scared when other grown men slide in the DMs. They're only looking for memorabilia. Well, 99% of the time, we hope. Catherine, nice hit on the Mike Singletary. All right. Minis are sold out. Ran through another mini helmet series. That one was around for a very short time. Very short time. Let's get this loot crate number three. And we have number five posted, which is the last. Last loot crate, if you guys would like to jump in. We got box number 16. Five, six, and seven. Catherine up to Matthew for this one. Catherine again. Loot crate number three, we're looking at box number 16. Box number 16. Lance, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Uh, Jersey's probably this upcoming week. Probably this upcoming week. All right, box number 16. Here we go. Best of luck, everybody. Thank you for the fill, and let's run it. Loot crate number three. See what comes tumbling out of there first. <laughs> Ray Rocky looking for that beginner's luck. And here we go. Here's our first hit. We got ourselves a brown panel football. A Beckett COA. And we're going to have wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel. Very nice target for Mr. Jimmy Garoppolo. I had a nice little Super Bowl showing. His value definitely went up in this offseason. Out of the University of South Carolina was a game cock. Debo Samuel going to the NFC West for Ray R. Ray R on the football. A little beginner's luck for Mr. Ray. That's a very nice hit. That is a very, very nice hit. He's a good player. Now the mini. Mark that for sure. We got Ray in the NFC West. Rookie luck. Ray is pumped. There you go, Ray. Congrats, man. Nice hit. Now we got. Coming out. Coming out. It's going to be a New England Patriot. New England Patriot. Going to be Mr. Ben Wintercoats. Ben Wintercoats, good little, he was an, kind of an underrated tight end for the New England Patriots. Good looking mini though. Ben Coates rocking that number 80. Ben Coates, AFC East. Amber, ladies night. Amber P. The feeling's right. Oh, what a night. <laughs> and again, Amber, I have to forewarn you. We'll get men in the DMs. Just saying. Nice. 
hammer with the New England Patriots mini. Love it. Love to see it. And now our jersey. Now our jersey will be. Look who we got here. Up and coming quarterback for the Washington Redskins. Mr. Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins over to the NFC East. Young Simba out of the Ohio State University. Rocking that number seven. Beautiful looking jersey right there. KSACLA, Dwayne Haskins. Nice hit. Good auto. Good auto for a young gun, and that goes to Christopher B. Go Buckeyes, Jacob says. Dang, what, not one LOL that I just put it please in. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. Uh, your own suck, it's brain. Um, so how do we get updates? Uh, Brandon, the tracking numbers should update themselves. Tracking numbers should update themselves if you have one. Uh, if you didn't get a tracking, I'll look into the tracking or you can have Danny Z check it out tomorrow. Okay. You never received an email? Okay. Uh, NFC East. And it was a weird break. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. Check that out for you, my man. Z. Hall of Fame break number three. Denise, what's going on? How's it going? Looking good with all the new things on Facebook Live. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Denise, we were just talking that it's lady night. Ladies night in here. We had a couple ladies win some items already. We got a face cam. A couple ladies started playing. That's all I'm saying. Just kidding. Six and seven. Travis W on the bottom up to Lance T. There we go. One through 15, no 12, no 13. Henry, what's up, man? Hall of Fame is the only thing we got left. Hall of Fame is the only thing we got left for tonight. Pretty cool series, though. If you like those. <laughs> what wife got on loot crate number four? Okay. Michael. Michael C is in this one. Maybe got in Hall of Fame number three and just uh, maybe thought. You, you're a break number three, just Hall of Fame full-size helmet and not the minis that you expected. Michael, do me a solid. Pull out a box number for me so we can get this break a roll. Jacob Maddox needs a win. Yeah, it's cool, Henry. It's cool. Hall of Famers, nice autographs, throwback names, very recognizable names in the series as well, special helmets and authentic. So I'd like to hear that. I'd like to hear that. <laughs> That's okay, Michael. We're keeping this day. One through 15 with no box numbers, 12 or 13. Need a box number here. I like to let you guys call out the box numbers so that way it's as random as possible. Um, not calling it. There we go. Thank you, Michael. Two, three, four. Lance, you're my guy with that, though. Box number four. Felt a little heavy. Felt a little heavy. Seal on the top. 
him on the bottom. Corey is in the Hall of Fame number four, right? <laughs> Best of luck, everybody. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. <laughs> Got ourselves a big time hit right here. This is an awesome, awesome hit. Check this hit out, guys. Had this guy on a, a like a crazy hydro last year. He's, guys went crazy for him. He is a big time name, awesome personality, was a very good player for the Denver Broncos. And we got ourselves. That ain't no problem. Mr. Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp, Denver Broncos, Speed Authentic. Shannon Sharp, good looking helmet right there for Travis W. Shannon Sharp is not a, uh, a guy we see very often at all. Second time I've ever pulled a Shannon Sharp item. And that is a very nice hit right there for Mr. Travis in the AFC West. Shannon Sharp. Very nice. Very nice, man. What's up, Brett? Hey, look, he signed my little uh, my little table thing here. We had Dan Hampton sign the table, Brett, yesterday. Pretty cool, man. Good looking, man. Good looking helmet. Travis, congrats, man. That's a big time hit. Big time hit. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it, but. <laughs> Going dark with the Ladarius Tour. All right, we got loot crate number four. Loot crate number four. I think we did three. Loot crate number four. <laughs> Raz the tablecloth. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go into loot crate number four. Sky down to Michael T. We got one and 18 left. One and 18. Oh man, I cut myself. Dang. Hurts. One. Michael T on the bottom up to the sky. Boxes 1 and 18 left for the loot crates. Number four, loot crate number four. Here we go, box number one. All right. Yeah, we're gonna do the Hoff four next. Hoff number four next. Sealed on top, sealed on the bottom. Careful with that knife. Okay, there we go. Uh, Verlin, sorry if you missed the answer to this. Will there be meat breaks weekend? Yes. If not, we'll have uh, we'll have breaks next week for minis, but I do not believe this weekend. But I think maybe come Monday we'll have something, Verlin. Oh, how fitting is this? <laughs> how fitting is this one? Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Beautiful. I'll pretty much respect this guy for every single item that comes out of here from now on. And as a player, uh, he was just so solid. Such a nice dude. And that is awesome. Talk about a football covered in ink. That is Mr. Dan Ham. One of the best autos in the game. Back at COA. Right there. Matches up nice. Matches up nicely with the table, huh? 
Nice hit, Sky. Nice hit for Sky, Mr. Dan Hampton on the brown panel football. It looks great. He has one of the best signatures ever. Ever. Next is the mini. Here's Beckett COA. And the Beckett COA will represent this hit right here. New Orleans Saints mini. New Orleans Saints going to be the Ohio State product. The defensive Rookie of the Year. Corner for the Saints, Mr. Marshawn Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore going to Sean R. Sean R. on the mini. There we go. Nice. Two hits in a row. Nice. The top two spots, Sean and Sky. Sean and Sky. Mr. Marshawn Lattimore on the mini. Seen a little bit of him lately. Not a bad hit. He's a good player. He's a physical corner, lockdown guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge Michigan fan. <laughs> exactly what you wanted. Ohio State product, Saints guy. Now our jersey. The jersey will be Baltimore Ravens. Starting running back, Big Truss himself. Going to be Mr. Mark Ingram out of the University of Alabama. Love that hit right there. Beckett, COA. Going to the AFC North. AFC North hit Mr. Mark Ingram. He's got a nice auto, too, at the bottom of that, too. That's nice. Mr. Mark Ingram to the AFC North for Daniel M. Daniel M. with a nice Mark Ingram signed jersey. That's a good looking jersey. That's nice. Mark Ingram. He has good ink on that thing, too. He has a nice auto. He's good. Kind of had a breakout season this year. Was with the Saints for a while. Then Kamara kind of came in. Stole a little bit of the show from Mark. And now he's with the uh, very successful Baltimore Ravens and expect continued success into... Uh, into next season for him in that offense. I think they signed a couple, I think they've got a couple good uh, draft picks and a couple off-season moves for the Ravens. Calais Campbell, I believe, from Jacksonville. I believe they picked him up in the off-season. That was a nice box. That was a good one. Elias Campbell, if I'm not mistaken. They ain't that good type out. <laughs> yeah. Daniel M. Alright, let's go to uh, Hall of Fame number number four. Jacob down to Paul. First box number that I see. Go ahead and rip that one. Jacob down to Paul. Four, five, six, and number seven. Paul Z at the bottom. Jason Z up at the top. Timmy Leonard calling out box number seven. So that's what we're going to do. Box number seven. Box number seven. Oh, do that. All right, you guys. Ah, oh, Jacob, do you call three? You might have. It might have been a while ago, though. Hold on. Let me scroll back up. You know what? Jacob did. Jacob did call number three. Let's make it fair. Let's randomize between the two. Let's make it fair. Let's see what we got. Jacob, I remember you calling three. I think Tim Leonard might have called at like the same time, but 
I just said the first number I see. But let's let's randomize between the two boxes. Four, five, six, and the box will be number seven. Box number seven. Box number seven on top after seven times on the dice roller. Hopefully that's cool with you guys. Could have one more person in the break call out one of the two, but um, now Tim Leonard says seven is good or three is good. Gonna go with box number seven, guys. That was what we went with on the randomizer. Hopefully that's cool with you guys. Box number seven. Seal on top, seal on the bottom. Best of luck, everybody. Here we go. Go with seven. Go with seven. Randomize the two. I'd rather keep it as random as possible. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is... This is an insane helmet. Hold on a second. JSA COA. <laughs> I love seeing these. I love seeing these. It was super light when I got it out of the bag, and now I know why. Check this out. The Hall of Fame series has yet to disappoint. Look at this helmet that we've got here. We've got ourselves a little Riddell two bar. <laughs> two bar rep helmet. This is really cool. I love seeing these two bars. These are awesome. And that is a Floyd Little. Floyd Little on the Denver Broncos Hall of Fame class of 2010. That is really cool. Going to Paul in the AFC West. That's very cool. That's one of the cooler helmets I've seen. Look, it's got like... It's got like the old time looking padding on the inside. Floyd Little on the Riddell T bar. T bar. Or two bar. They're really cool, huh? All right, Jacob. Thanks for playing, man. I appreciate you. That's cool. I like that. Don't see a lot of those. I wish we saw more because those are really nice. Those are kind of a. Something that kind of stands out in the collection. That one's going to Paul. That one is going to Paul. Paul Z. Paul thing number four. Now we're going to go to the last. Blue crate box. Number five. Is that full? Yes, it is. Rick Z down to Aaron S. We've only got one box left. Here we go. Rick Z down to Aaron. Six and seven. Thank you guys for the fill. All right. All righty, box number 18. Box number 18, sealed on the top, sealed on the bottom. Best of luck, guys. Here we go. Thank you for the fill on the loop break boxes. Snag another headliner. Saw a headliner earlier in the loop crates in that AK-41 jersey. Now we got ourselves the fullback from the San Francisco 49ers. Guy plays a little bit behind his, I mean, like, behind the times is a fullback. Very hard-nosed. Awesome, awesome fullback. That's Kyle Juszczyk for the 49ers. That's a really nice hit. 
That's a really nice hit going to the NFC West for Aaron S. Kind of a guy that, uh, what's the terminology for that? Like someone that plays like someone that played a long time ago. Ahead of his time. Got it. Someone that I believe is a little bit of ahead of his time. Kyle Juszczyk. Very hard-nosed fullback. Not a ton of fullbacks like him anymore, especially to that level. I think he's the highest paid fullback in the NFL as well. That goes to Aaron S. A Aaron, nice hit with the football. And now the mini. JSA COA. The Juice. <laughs> Is that his nickname, Chris? The Juice? Oh, yeah. Use check. Yeah, the Juice. Now the Mini. Oh, I love looking at these. These are awesome. These are awesome. We got ourselves a little Ohio State University Mini. Running back, Mr. Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde with the stickers on the opposite side. I love seeing these little Minis. They're awesome. Carlos Hyde, see his longest tenure. I believe he's a free agent as of right now. He can probably fit onto a roster, though. He was with the Texans a little bit, I think, last year. He was drafted in 2014. Was with the Chiefs. Oh, no way. No way. He signed with Seattle today? Let me check on that. Oh, wow, he did. That's so cool. Hold on a second. It would be San Francisco if he was a free agent. He got picked up today by the Seahawks. I just said he could fit on a nice roster. Five twenty-two. The Seahawks are moving fast. Shortly after a report surfaced of a final offer going out to Devonte Freeman, the Seahawks will pivot to Carlos Hyde, the six-year veteran, agreed to terms with the team. Wow. There you go. Some breaking NFL news. <laughs> Aaron, football and the mini. That's really cool. It will be the same division either way, but I like to know what the current teams are. We pull the Carlos Hyde, the, the Ohio State Buckeyes mini. It's really cool. That's nice. That's a Seahawks hit. Now our jersey. Now our jersey. Going to be Chicago Bear. Former running back for the Chicago Bears, rocking that 22. Very good running back for the Bears. Matt Forte. Matt Forte. JSA COA. Guys, I'm very excited about the upcoming inventory that we've got coming in. A lot of new names on, you know, special helmets and stuff. It's just, with all the stuff, it's been tough to do new signings with the guys maybe in the draft class because they probably would have had their first signing already. But look forward to that. I mean, as soon as all this stuff is over, maybe we could try to get some of those new rookies, some more desirable stuff for uh, current guys and current teams. I look forward to seeing a lot of rookie autographs coming through here very soon. As soon as this stuff kind of clears up, that's going to be Matt Forte. Matt Forte. Because new rookies are always a chase. There you go, Christopher E. Nice hit. Christopher E, because we've seen a lot of the Hall of Famers right now, which is really cool. We made a series around that Hall of Fame vibe. But once the signings start going, you see a lot of rookies and, and new autographs for your team, your favorite team, and they're like first, second, third round draft picks. I, I just love seeing that stuff coming through here and to guys' collections. I love when guys make uh, hits in here that go into their collections.
Loot crates are finished, guys. That was the last one that we had. Appreciate you guys on the fills for those. Another series is in the books. Moving on to the Hall of Fame helmets. Hall of Fame number four is full and done. Hall of Fame helmet number five is full. Corey M down to Bob C. Corey M down to Bob C. If you guys would like to give me a box number for the Hall of Fame boxes. Let's get these rolling. Let's do a bunch more of these. We got 15 of them here. And we're working on break number six. Three, four. Five, six, and seven. Travis D up to Corey M. Travis D up to Corey M. Travis D calling out box number five. Number five. There we go. Guaranteed Hall of Famer. Guaranteed Hoff. Box number five. Sealed on the top there. And sealed on the bottom. We are ready to rock. Danny Mario, any word on box breaks this week? Yeah, we'll have breaks posted for tomorrow and Sunday. Breaks posted for tomorrow and Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a look at this. Look at this helmet right here. We got ourselves a custom Buffalo Bills helmet with the chrome decals, chrome stripes, a matte black custom helmet, and another Hall of Famer. Mr. Marv Levy. Mr. Marv Levy. That's a good looking helmet. Right there. That's a cool Buffalo Bills helmet. This is one you kind of keep and try to get as many people to sign this one as possible. That is a really nice hit. Marv Levy, the coach of the Bills for four straight Super Bowl seasons. Uh, unsuccessful in four consecutive tries. Six consecutive? Consecutive. Amber P. Ladies' night. Amber, nice hit. Congrats on the Marv Levy Buffalo Bills. Marv Levy. That's a nice hit. Chris, we got more Hall of Fame helmets, my man. Amber P. Number five. Amber. This Hall of Famer stuff. It's cool. A little bit of history lesson with every every hit so far. Learn a little bit about some of the, the greats of the game. I do like that a lot. Marv Levy for Amber. All right, looks like we have Hall of Fame box number six posted. Hall of Fame box number six. Bob C with four spots. Paul Z up top, Bob C to follow. Let me go ahead and link the page. And there we go.
Chris Esterton. Amber, I got a Coach Levy auto jersey. That's cool. Is it the uh, is it the one that says Coach Levy? I like those. Hall of Fame break number six. Six spots taken. No, we're going to do a bunch. Oh, Ryan. That's what I got. Ryan, kick me a, a, a message over on Facebook for me if you would. Shoot the uh, Ultimate Autographs Facebook a message. I have to, uh, you have to send you something regarding one of the boxes that you want. Thanks, Ryan. We got more boxes to post, man. We got a bunch of these Hall of Fame boxes. A bunch of these Hall of Fame boxes, actually. Paul Z, Don Scott P. We got two more spots to fill in this one. And we get another one posted right after that. John Fisher, I bought into a crate today. I think it was one. Is that going tonight or did I? Let's see. Crate. John F. Got you right here, man. John, you actually won an item. John, you actually won an item. John, after this box, I'll go and check in what, what you want. AFC West, crate number one. Use your head. Use your head. Ah, uh, dang. John, I'll check on that in a minute. I, I know that you won something. You got, you got highlighted there. Man, alright. I'll check it out. I don't want to <laughs> Alright, we're going to get, uh, Hall of Fame number seven is posted as well, guys. Thank you for the fill in Hall of Fame box number one. Or <laughs> Hall of Fame box number six. This is Hall of Fame box number six, guys. Make this hair small. You can see the name still. There we go. Hall of Fame number six. Danny and uh, Whitney, thank you guys for jumping in for the close. John says, sweet, I never won anything. <laughs> All right, if you guys would like to give me a box number five. Six and number seven, Bob C with the last four spots. Bob C's got every team possible in the AFC. Bob C, last time I saw you, you uh, you had won a pretty big item. You had won a pretty large item from us, man. It's very happy for you that night. Now you got the entire AFC in this break. Scotty Porter. Box number three. Box number three. All right, guys. Hall of Fame number seven is posted as well. Sealed on the top. Sealed on the bottom. Already six of these. That's awesome. COA, it better be. <laughs> Current guy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. We got ourselves a five time Pro Bowler Hall of Fame class of 1994. Good looking helmet right here. Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals, Mr. Jackie Smith. Or oh, actually, you know, he played for when they were the St. Louis Cardinals. Five time Pro Bowler tight end for the St. Louis Cardinals. He also played for the LA Rams. Nice couple inscriptions, too. Five-time Pro Bowler. 
1,018 uh, yards. Nice, nice auto on that thing as well. Nice auto on that one. Jackie Smith keeping up with the Hall of Fame theme. And Paul Z is going to snag that one. That's an Arizona Cardinals helmet. Arizona Cardinals helmet. Paul Z. And that is number six. Here we go. Check out. Curious what did the issue with my boxes? Curious what the issue. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. It's not a big deal. You're good, Ryan. Nothing to worry about. I promise you that. Let's see what John. John, here was the mini that you won. It was a mini. John F. Hit this. Hit this, my man. It was a Jim Otto. Jim Otto mini. That was for John. Definitely in for that extra 45 now for that Hall of Fame box. Depending on what I want. <laughs> there you go, man. All right, let's see where we're at with Hall of Fame number seven. Hall of Fame number seven. You able to answer on Facebook tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump on the Facebook chat and uh, answer your Ryan. Send a link over. Try to fill up Hall of Fame box number seven. Spots left. Nope, sorry. Yes, it is. Four spots left. Okay, got it. Found it. I want to send the link over. Get to send the link over.
Ryan B is back after a few days off. Ryan B right in slot number five. Right in slot number five. Looks like we got three spots left. Three spots left. <laughs> Ryan loves two boxers. Ryan would rather play the two boxer over a uh, <laughs> one, one boxer any day. Fill up this one box or two for, uh, I love two boxes. Yeah, you really do. You really do. You know what? Let's do this. Daniel M. So we got seven spots. All righty, Jacob M. closing us out. Jacob M. is closing us out. Corey M., Christopher E., Aaron S., Ryan B., Paul Z., Daniel M., and Jacob M. Guys, maybe we can run a little two-box break. A Hall of Fame number eight. Let me see a couple uh, a couple people that uh, could be in for a two-box break if we run it for the uh, eighth Hall of Fame break. Ryan is in. Ryan is in. Ryan, you better buy four spots. Ryan, I'm, I'm putting it out there, man. If we got people that are in for a two-box break, we'll get Hall of Fame box. Number eight will be a two-box break for the Hall of Fame series. Hall of Famers only. All right, Ryan's in for two spots. One other person said yes. Chris is in. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, that's four out of eight. Chris is down. All right. All right, let's make Hall of Fame break number eight a little two-boxer. Let's try it. Hall of Fame eight will be a two-box break. Six and seven. If you guys would like to give me a box number four break number seven. Will be much appreciated. Pat is in for a two-boxer. Pat's in. All right, number eight's going to be a two-box break, guys. Break number eight will be a two boxer. Jacob Bannock's calling out box number three. Jacob Bannock. <laughs> I think we did three. One, two, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, the sharp got pulled. The Shannon sharp did get pulled. We did three. I don't know which one it was. One, two, six, eight. Timmy Leonard, it's going to be a two-boxer, man. It's going to be a two-boxer. We're going to run box number one for this one. So let me write down the box numbers. Two, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. All righty, there we go. Hall of Fame number eight will be a two-box break. So wait for that to get posted. Chris East uh, Esterton is in for two spots. Seven guys, best of luck. Break number seven, best of luck, and here we go. Very nice hit. Beckett COA. And Beckett 
C-O-A, and it is going to be a Chicago Bears. A little throwback ref on this one, Hall of Fame class of 98. Keeping up with the Hall of Fame theme, we got ourselves Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary for the Chicago Bears for Jacob M. Jacob M, a little closer magic for Jacob on that one. Very nice hit, Jacob. Stuck around for another break. Said goodnight like 30 minutes ago. He's back for more. And he's got a Mike Singletary autograph right there. Nice hit, Jacob. Congrats, man. Very well done. We need another two box break for number nine. Looks like number eight. Number eight looks like it's filling up quickly. Number eight's gonna fill up quick. Two boxes are very popular. <laughs> Ryan, calm down. <laughs> Already, we got seven boxes. You got seven spots done quick. Seven boxes down. Seven boxes down. <laughs> Ryan, I said that earlier in the break. And Timothy L. Timothy L. We, I, uh, it was like, there's been like five. Um, not to assume, but from the names, I presume female winners. And I said our female winner rate is way up since we got the face cam. I'm just saying. <laughs> and that's full. That's full. We got boxes 14 and 15. 14 and 15. All right, cool. We need to post another two-box break? Do we need to post another two-boxer? That filled up quick. Appreciate it, guys. Six and seven. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, there we go. 14 and 15. Trust me when I say two box. Alright, man, you got it. Let's get another we'll get another two box break posted. 14 is the first. The government. <laughs> if we get a, a couple more pre-commits to a two-boxer, Ryan, we'll post another two-box break. Because right now it's only you and your five spots that you're going to take. Right, you got <laughs> She came back from the Donnie face cam. That's what I like to hear. Denise, thank you for humoring me. We got ourselves a headliner. We got ourselves a little headliner right here. Check this helmet out. Something super unique. 
not something you see very often. We got ourselves the greatest to ever do it on the Seahawks. Amp. Seahawks amp. That is beautiful. I love the Seahawks amp. I think that beak is awesome across the top of that helmet there. That's going to the NFC West for Christopher E. Christopher E. Uh, if you want to defend. No, I don't, actually. For my brother's shirt. <laughs> but I do call play-by-play -play games. I do play I do call play-by-play -play for men's lacrosse. It's fun. It's a fun game. That's an awesome hit. Jerry Rice on the Seahawks amp. For Chris E. Headline. And never argue with Jerry Rice. Disagree, my man. Now box number 15. Sealed on top. Sealed on the bottom. Let's run it. Not seeing any more love for another two-box break. You guys are going to upset Ryan P. Ryan P wants in another two-box break. Denise, I didn't see the... Uh, I didn't see the Jim Brown. Didn't see the Jim Brown. Denise, we need Jim Brown. <laughs> A few people up my sleeve. All right. And we got ourselves. Mr. Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor on the Riddell Speed Replica. Hall of Famer for sure. One of the greatest to ever do it. And I'm pretty sure Larry Graham just said, I finally got the NFC East. Come on, LT. And we pulled it. Absolutely called his shot to deep center. Larry calling out the box numbers. Knocking down a big time headliner and a beautiful auto on that Lawrence Taylor hit. That is sensational. I love when that stuff happens. Right into the PC for Mr. Lawrence. That's my dude, he said. Very well done. Very well done. Lawrence Taylor. For Lawrence G. Lawrence Taylor for Lawrence Graham. That's my dude, he said. That's an awesome hit, man. Big time congrats. Going right to the PC for Mr. Larry Graham. Nice little duo of boxes. I didn't see any more action here for a second box. Let me. You guys want to run another two boxer for break number nine? Should we give it another go? Need a post. Need a post two boxer. With a U. All right, let's run it. Pat. Let's try another two box break. It was a speed rep, Larry. Speed rep on that one. B. Wendell's in for another two boxer. All right, let's try it. We'll give it a shot. We'll get that second two boxer posted. 
and it is posted. Hall of Fame, number nine, is going to be another two-box break for you guys. Seem to love the first two-boxer. Let's go ahead and run it. That is posted, guys. Box number nine. Two box break. Ryan B is in first spot. Denise, we will have uh, we'll have more Hall of Fame boxes for tomorrow for Saturday afternoon breaks with Danny Z. You guys will be seeing Danny Z for the first time, huh? Right? We haven't had face cam with Danny Z yet. Just, just woke up the kid. <laughs> just woke up the kid. All right, there we go. Ryan's in. Pat looks like he's in. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate it, man. Corey, Brian. There we go. Corey, Brian, Pat. Four spots down. Tell me you love me for a free five. Hall of Fame. Box number nine. These are fun. Pulling some good hits, too. Pulling some good hits. Let me see if I can find that break. Put it a link. You know, Denise and Larry are joining. Larry might be out, man. He just hit the headliner he wanted. He was chasing that Lawrence Taylor. Chris, have a good night, man. Thank you. Congrats on the Jerry Rice. Hot now, yeah. You would think so? I would. I always like to push it though. If I win one, I'm like, dude, this is easy. Corey's in. Corey's in. Ryan, I'll answer you tonight after the uh, after the breaks are over. <laughs> yeah, he's in. <laughs> Jacob said he was, uh, I think, done for the night. Jacob was in some breaks earlier, though. All righty, guys. Looks for, we need a closer here. We need two more spots. Aaron's in. Ryan B has two spots. Corey, Brian, Pat. And we need a closer. We need two more spots. Chris is in. Look at Chris. Six. Chris said he'll take it. <laughs> Irvine, what's going on, man? Ermin. Sorry. It's Ermin. Ermin, haven't been, haven't been back in a while. Forgot how to say your name. Ermin. Hall of Fame helmets, man. Everything that comes out of these boxes guaranteed to be a Hall of Fame. It's pretty cool. I like that.
two box like Orion pushes these two box breaks better than I do. <laughs> That's exactly right. I need to hire Ryan. He just sit it in my left and push two box breaks. Fantastic. Guy's fantastic. Hopefully this isn't the last break of the night. This is kind of fun. I like doing these little two boxers. Ermin. See the link, Ermin? Right there on the screen. Should be in the chat as well. Ultimateautographs.com, uh, UA Live Breaks tab. Yeah. Ryan, I know. <laughs> I know you like the two boxers. Put three more up. Trying to get at this one. <laughs> that looked real bad. I want. We just need two more spots, Pat. Two more spots. Ryan, are you trying to sell me? Double down. <laughs> Triple down. <laughs> there we go. Never mind. It's closed. Hall of Fame number nine, two box break. Christopher E is closing us out. Christopher E is closing us out. Okay, we have Ryan, Corey, Brian, Pat, Ryan, Aaron, Christopher. E. Here we go. If you guys would like to call it a box number, please do. We need two box numbers. 14, 15 are gone. Six. And seven. Ryan B at the bottom. Tiny honest question, honest answer. Do you hate Ryan? <laughs> no, I don't. Not at all. I like Ryan. Ryan's <laughs> Ryan's putting other people in the brain. <laughs> all right, where are my Hall of Fame moments? Here we go. Two, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two boxes. Two box numbers. Any of those numbers. <laughs> Alright, two and six. We got two and six. I see 26. That means two and six, right? <laughs> Very difficult for me to pick box numbers. <laughs> Alright, I see two and six. <laughs> two and six, it's gonna be. Ryan, thanks for calling out the box numbers, man. In whatever way that you tried to do that there. I got it. I got it. I picked up what you're putting down there. All right, guys. 
Could be the last break of the night. Best of luck, everybody. Here we go. Good work, Don. Thank you, Ryan. Good work, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> A huge hit. A very huge hit right here. Big time headliner. Keeping up with the Hall of Fame action right here. Check out what we got. A Cleveland Browns. Riddell Amp hit Mr. Jim Brown. In box number two, Jim Brown. Jim Brown in the AFC North going to Brian W. Brian W. picks up the headliner. Oh my goodness. What a monster hit that is. Browns across the entire helmet. That's how the amps are. For the Cleveland Browns. Let's go, Brian. You weirdo. <laughs> that is an awesome hit right there. Brian, big time congrats, my man. Big time congrats. That's awesome. Nicely done, man. That's a rep and an amp rep. We have seen a couple amp authentics, but Jim Brown is a huge, huge hit regardless. Box number six. Larry's already trying to give up the LT. <laughs> Just woke the kids up screaming, celebrating. He's like, trade it. There's sucks. I think Larry might be a Browns fan. Though. See, I knew it. I knew it. And our next hit. Our next hit will be. Hell. Oh, what a good break. Oh. Back in COA. This is a beautiful hit. Great shirt as well. Oh, it's not that great. It's kind of terrible. Here we go. Take a look at this helmet right here. We got ourselves a creamsicle throwback Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Warren Sapp, Hall of Fame class of 13. Tampa Bay Buccaneers throwback to the NFC South. For Christopher E. Did you guess trade? That's a nice hit. Christopher, great hit, man. Chris having a nice night in the breaks. Closing that one out with the last two spots. Brian, that's a good trade, man. That's a very nice trade of you. Brian W. is trading. Larry G. on the trade. I'm going to mark that LT. I'm going to mark that LT.
woke up the, woke up the kid again with a big tray. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Don't leave us now, Diamond. We got numbers. Chris, nice hit. On the Warren Sap creamsicle hit. Ryan wants another two boxer. Ryan wants another two box break. I'll give it a few minutes, guys. If you want it, let me know in the chat here if, if you're in. If you're in for another two boxer, let me know here. There you go. That was an awesome trade. Larry, have a good night, man. Hopefully your kids can go back to sleep now. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got Ryan is in for the two boxer. Um, Pat. Looks like Pat might be in. I promise you. Ryan is in. Ermin. All right, let's get it posted. Let's get it posted. Ermin is in. Ermin, we're going to get that last two box. You're going. Hall of Fame break number 10. We got 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right, Brett, yeah, let me answer you right here. I think you shot me a Facebook message. I did not check that. Um, he, he, was, he was in the office for a, we did a signing with him. We did a signing with him. It was awesome. Um, small, safe, <laughs> very safe. Um, and then I found out like an hour before that he may be able to jump on and do a break. And I was like, no way. That'd be insane for us and for me personally. Um, and then I heard a knock at the door and it was, it was like, Dan, it was Dan Hampton at the door. And I was like, that's Dan Hampton. <laughs> you know, I was like, all right, Dan, <laughs> have a seat, man. Check out what we're doing. It was, it was pretty cool, buddy. It was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you saw the video. And if you can see my auto here. He signed the table for me, Brett. Proud of that. Proud of that. Brian said Daniel's Joker was named after him. I don't think that's true. Is it true? Oh, that's awesome. Watched it, sent the recording to like five different people. <laughs> A lot of noise. We have three spots filled in this one. All right, what is the 84? Um, two box break. So two full-size helmets in this break. Two full-size helmets. 
That was really cool, Brett. I was pumped. One of the more cool moments I've had doing this. Uh, it is a, a mix of authentics and reps. There is a mix of authentics and reps in this series, Brett. And then we'll have specialty mini, uh, specialty helmets as well. But everything that you'll see will be a Hall of Famer, which is really cool. I like that idea. Ryan, you're good, man. <laughs> All right, Ryan, Brian, Sean is in. Four spots to close. Four spots to close. I think Urban said he wanted in. Bird, Birdman. Urban is in. Looks like uh, looks like we got seven spots taken. Seven spots taken. Need a little closer magic here. Need a little closer magic. Yeah. Let me show you that LT you got. Really clean, man. It is very, very clean. Super clean, actually. Super clean. Nice speed rep. It's a rep, but it's speed, which is nice. It's really nice. Trade worked out if you guys both got a player you wanted. Brian, are you a Giants fan? Or just a Lawrence Taylor fan? Uh, I mean, if you're a Lawrence Taylor fan, you're probably like a football fan, I would say. All right. Whoa. <laughs> My Hampton Auto. All righty. Hall of Fame. Just an LT guy got it. Brett is on the close. Brett on the close. We got 8, 9, 10, and 11. If you guys like to give me two boxes. Five, six, and seven. Berman down at the bottom. Ryan B at the top. There we go. Eight. Eight will be good. And one more. Eight and one more attempt. All right. 
Eight and ten, you guys got it. There we go. First box, number eight, sealed on top, sealed on the bottom. Thank you guys for the fill. And here we go. Alrighty, guys, best of luck. We got ourselves a Los Angeles Rams hit. Hall of Fame class of 2014. Aeneas Williams. Aeneas Williams, Hall of Fame class of 2014. Nice hit there. Going to the NFC West for Patrick S. Patrick S. Aeneas Williams. Ryan, we could run another, man. If we see another enough uh, enough commits for one more, we'll do it. This is break number 10. <laughs> Trust me, Donna. <laughs> number 10. Who it's going to be? Who is it going to be? Oh, okay. Hall of Famer, for sure. Wide receiver. I think we saw his coach a little bit earlier on a custom Bills helmet. We got ourselves Andre Reed. Andre Reed, Hall of Famer. For the Buffalo Bills on the Riddell Speed Authentic. Riddell Speed Authentic, Mr. Andre Reed. Nice. AFC East for Sean P. Sean P in the AFC East getting himself the Andre Reed Speed Authentic. That's a good looking helmet, actually. Really nice. Buffalo Bills hit. Jason, we had a big trade. LT for Jim Brown. <laughs> we got Sean P. <laughs> All right. Jason, we're doing one more double break. Got to get in. Get that last Hall of Fame break posted. All right, Hall of Fame break number 11. Two boxer was going to get posted. Ryan P wanted it. We're going to make it happen. Ryan's going to take the first five spots. So we need three more to fill.
we go. There we go, guys. It's posted. Ryan, I will not forget to message you back, my man. You're the only one in this stuff. You're gonna round up the troops. He is in. All right, let me go ahead and link this last break. Let me link this last break. We got boxes 9 and 11. 9 and 11. I'm going to link this. I'm going to clean up this place a little bit. Got helmets all over the place. Is in. Thank you, Ermin, for jumping in. Appreciate it, man. Four spots left. It's going to fill. It's going to fill. is in. Alright, let me go ahead and clean this. All trades are finalized as well, which is cool. How we doing? Patrick S. is in as well. We got three spots to close it out. Three spots to close it out. Sean Porter, the sharp, did hit, my man. We did hit that Shannon sharp. We did hit that Shannon sharp. Three spots left. Patrick S. is in. Brian is in. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it, man.
Um. <laughs> Damn, pay attention. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen Falk or Dawkins. Have not seen Falk or Dawkins. Well, we got boxes nine, and then box of number eleven. So still good hits left to go in this series. Plenty, actually. John, it's funny because Scott asked like asked the same thing. You guys are a one track mind, I like it. It's genetic. Kyle R is in. One more spot to close it out. Looks like we're gonna do this. Looks like we're gonna do this. Closer magic for Travis W. There we go. Nine and eleven. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get this list randomized. Let's get this list randomized. Thank you guys for the final fill. We're Broncos fans and Sharp was it. I know you guys are Broncos fans. Cool that Sharp is your favorite player. Awesome guy, great player as well. It's really rare for us to have Shannon Sharp. He's a rare auto. He never signs. Alrighty guys, best of luck. Thank you guys for the fill and here we go. We're gonna run box number nine first. Box number nine, put this right next to me. Here we go. Box number nine. Sealed on top and sealed on the bottom. First hit. First hit is going to be. This is so nasty. Beckett COA. Beckett COA. And check out this helmet right here. A little prime time Deion Sanders action right there. Black out Riddell replica. All black Deion Sanders with the black Falcon. That thing is sweet in the NFC South. Going to the man who insisted we run two box break. Is paying off nicely, Mr. Dion Sanders. That is a nasty hit right there. That thing looks sweet. I think that's another headliner hit. Neon Dion Sanders. That is great. Dion Sanders. Ryan B. Break number 11. Ho <laughs> ho! That thing is sick. That's awesome. Deion Sanders. I'm going to show that at the end. Alrighty, guys. Final box. Best of luck, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Appreciate you guys playing the Friday night breaks. Last box. Let's finish it out in style. We actually already did kind of. Oh, what a beautiful hit. What a beautiful way to end. JSA COA. Very nice. Very, very nice. Take a look at this. Another Hall of Fame running back. Uh, played for a couple teams. Well, well known as part of the greatest show on turf. Going to the NFC West, Mr. Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk on the St. Louis Rams helmet, now known as the LA Rams in the NFC West. And look at what we got here. Ryan B in two different divisions, going back to back jacks. Marshall Falk 
and Dion Sims. I actually really love this song. This song is nasty. Take a look at these last two hits we got. Dion and Marshall Falk. Now we should squeeze me one. This song is sweet. Ryan B closing out the night in style. Back to back jacks. He's pumped. He is pumped about it. I would be too. That's a nice little way to end. Awesome night here. UA Live Breaks. Spoke down. And Marshall Falk. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Thank you for jumping in and encouraging others to jump in as well and join you. It paid off for you big time. Awesome stuff, Ryan. Big time congrats, man. I'm crying. <laughs> Ryan B. Two for two to end the night. Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for tonight's break. So we appreciate everybody jumping in. And uh, we're going to call it right there. We will have breaks for uh, Saturday. So tomorrow, 2 p.m., Danny Z is in here. And then Sunday, we'll have 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. break. So you guys uh, take care. Until then, I will see you guys on Sunday night. Danny Z is back in here at 2 p.m. You guys take care. And we'll see you.